Let's extend the length of the column to be connected. Create views by two points from Views menu. In 2D view, always set the work plane and the view plane is the same. Create additional points by right-clicking on the Create Parallel Points button and specifying a distance. Let's set a plate between these created points. Let's open the Properties window by double-clicking on the plate and setting the position in depth as front. Also, the Ctrl plus W shortcut can be used for the out-of-plane alignment of this plate. We should create a cut object to cut the beam at the point of beam and column intersection. Firstly, determine the border of the cutting object using the Reference Line command. Then, run the Create Cut command. Let's first select the beam to be cut, and then select the corner points that we have determined. The cut object can be moved using the Move command in X, Y, or Z directions. In 2D view, the work plane and the view plane must be set as the same for adding a bolt. Run the Create Bolt Group command and select two members to be connected. Then, right-click. Pick two points in the X direction and set the distances in the X and Y directions from the Positions tab. Let's create a welded connection between the beam and the plate using the Create Weld command. You can switch to the wireframe mode by using the Alt plus D shortcut. Insert a stiffener on the column using the stiffener command. Let's convert this connection into a reusable macro. To do this, firstly move the working plane to the connection point. Let's select all the elements that form the connection. Pick the manual macro command and give a name to the connection. Then, select collision type. Click on the new and retrieve as created members buttons. Then, first, pick the beam and then the column by using the select main members button and finish by right-clicking.
Lastly, click the save button and close the window. Let's match the column lengths by using the match elements command. Move the work plane to the manual macro point. Again, open the manual macro window. Specify the connection name and click on the Create Connection button. First, pick the beam, then pick the column and beam column connection point. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to Prota YouTube channel to hear about our latest tutorials and videos.